Hey, this is Chris with MyWebsiteAdvisor.com. Welcome to our video. I think the most common request our clients have is to make minor changes to the appearance of their website. For example, maybe they want to change the color or size of certain text on their home page. Today I'm going to explain how to change the appearance of your WordPress website. Now if you're not using WordPress, don't worry, much of the video still applies, but the process for saving your changes is a little bit different. For my demonstration today, I'm going to be using Google Chrome Web Browser because it has some features that allow you to easily change how a part of your website looks. My demonstration is going to show you how to change the appearance of some of the text on our website. Uh, this is a very basic example but can be applied to alter the appearance of any element on your website. So what I'm going to do is select the text that I want to that I want to mess with and right click on it and go to inspect element. And that's going to open this new pane at the bottom and when I move my mouse around at the bottom it's going to flash all kinds of crazy stuff around at the top. But you'll notice, like if I hover over this website advisor tool, that up above it, it was highlighting that. So it's allowing us to inspect the code that's the style code that's controlling uh, how these things look. So we want to modify the text that's right below this, this headline. That would be this P paragraph right here. Yep, this try our free website advisor tool. Uh, so if you notice on the right side here, it's a, a P tag, uh, box top P, I'm sorry, top box P, and here we go, color is white. And you could experiment, you could change it to, uh, you could change it to blue, and you'd notice that it uh, doesn't doesn't look real real good, so maybe let's change it to gray. That doesn't really look, look very good either. Um, black. Black's going to be good for our demonstration because you can see it. Okay. Um, so we've changed that. You can close out of this window here. However, this isn't permanent. That was uh, just to just to test things out and see how we liked it. Uh, you can verify that by reloading the page, and you'll notice uh, that our changes have gone away. Um, so we're gonna once again inspect that element that we want to change, and instead of just changing it here, we're gonna copy and paste this entire bit of code. Uh, you'll notice that it's in the style.css library that controls all of the style for all of the elements. We're not going to modify that file. That's going to be our baseline that we don't want to modify so we can revert to it if we make a mistake. Instead, we're going to save these changes. Uh, I made a custom CSS file for this site uh, to demonstrate how to make these changes. Uh, see, here's the style.css. If you click on that, you're going to see it's all kinds of stuff and it's very confusing and not a very good way to make these custom changes. We want to keep all of our custom changes in one place in case we break something. So you'll notice instead of clicking on the, the main style sheet, I clicked on our custom custom style sheet. And simply paste in that bit of code that we copied before and eliminate the parts that we we don't want to change. We don't want to change the line height. Who knows what that is anyway. Get rid of that. The font size was just fine. We'll leave that alone. Um, I didn't know there was a text shadow on that. We'll leave that here for now in case we want to mess with that later. But for now we'll just change that uh, text color from white to black for our example and update the file. reload the website to see that our changes have indeed taken effect and if you inspect the same element and look at it you'll notice that our new entry my website advisor custom.css has now overridden the main style.css just the two things that we changed keep in mind the font size stays the same we didn't override that so it's still controlled in style.css. That's why it's called a cascading style sheet. That's what CSS stands for. Cascading mean they can overlap each other 
and that's how this is working. The, this has two entries that it overlaps and those get cancelled out here. Remember it's the inspect element feature in Google Chrome. Uh, I know some some of the other web browsers do have similar things. I know for Firefox you could use something called Firebug which is a plug-in uh, to do this same thing but I prefer Google Chrome. It's built right in and you don't have to install any extra plugins. and uh, it's really neat neat thing to do. You can you know mess with your website um, without having to make the changes permanent so you're the only one that can see those changes and uh, if you don't like the changes you've made you can always uh, go back in uh, you know for example you could just change this to white and the white here is overriding the white there um, so really this is now completely unnecessary since it's back to how it was originally and you can just delete it and reload and now you're not you don't have that extra CSS cluttering this up uh, hopefully this tutorial has been helpful thank you very much